Hello. I am coming to you again because once again, the sovereign citizen is trying to give legal advice in my comment section. And once again, he fails to do the rudimentary task of number one, understanding what he's talking about. And number two, doing the basic research required to actually give a formulated, well thought out opinion. He's suggesting that making a U-turn to avoid a checkpoint is somehow not reasonable suspicion. And that is just absurd on so many levels. Now, number one, you got to check your state laws because state, various state cases have uh, weighed in on what actually gives an officer reasonable suspicion and different states have different levels of proof. So just, or different uh, case law reflecting what they are. Uh, for Georgia, you're going to want to look at Georgia case law. Now, I'm not a fan of Georgia. I'm not a fan of their laws. I have learned today that uh, having bald tires is a misdemeanor. So mea culpa, it's not a speeding ticket. I don't, I have seen on one lawyer's website, I, I just did a quick search on it. Uh, where it's not a an arrestable offense, but they didn't cite anything to support it, so I don't know. Uh, it does say for that section, though, that they are misdemeanors, and ugh. Uh, if, if I ever go to Georgia, I'm not driving, because fuck that noise. Um, if your headlight goes out while you're driving, that's a misdemeanor. Georgia. Nice people in Georgia. That's about it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Terry V. State. Consistent with Jorgensen, we have, however, held in subsequent cases that abnormal or unusual actions taken to avoid a roadblock may give an officer reasonable suspicion of criminal activity, even when the evasive action is not illegal. Making a U-turn as soon as somebody sees a roadblock might be abnormal or unusual actions. That's an unusual action. Bing, bitch! God, it's so stupid. I don't know why I have to do, have to explain such basic things to such an internet attorney or internet lawyer, whatever the hell he wants to call himself. Further, an officer's honest belief that a traffic violation has been committed in his presence, even if ultimately proven incorrect, may nevertheless demonstrate the existence of at least an articulable suspicion, reasonable grounds for the stop. Oh, and the citation is uh, 283GA.APP.158, Terry v. State. It's a 2007 case. We also, we also know, we also know, I think it's a U.S. Supreme Court case, that mistakes of law are also... It may still give reasonable suspicion. I think it was a Georgia case. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was a Georgia case where uh, where somebody was driving with one tail light out. So had one tail light operable and one tail light out, and the trooper thought that 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 state's law required two functional tail lights, when in fact it only required one. So we stopped them. Uh, they had meth, I think. Probably it's in the South. Probably meth. And bada boom, bada bing. They try to suppress because it wasn't illegal what they were doing, etc. So saying that avoiding a checkpoint does not give reasonable suspicion. Oh, it probably does. It probably does. Now, uh, Jorgensen, the case that they cited in Jorgensen, the uh, Georgia troopers had set up the checkpoint about 200 yards away from an apartment complex. And in Jorgensen, the trooper watching people who he thought was going to avoid the checkpoint saw someone turn into the apartment complex. And he had a hunch. That's it. That's all he had. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. No unusual driving behaviors, nothing like that. The guy didn't flip a U-turn, whatever. He pulled into an apartment complex. That is not unusual. People pull into apartment complexes. That's they live there, whatever. Trooper pulled him over, uh, had a DUI, uh, that instance, because all the trooper could say was, well, he turned into an apartment complex and I had a hunch. No, no, no. But you, but take that with a grain of salt. You turn into an apartment complex, trooper has a hunch, pulls you over, uh, drunk driving, right? He says, you know what? 
I saw his I saw his wheels veer towards the curb prematurely, and he had to correct. Okay, uh, I I thought I saw him throw a cigarette out the window. It appeared to me that his tires were were overly bald. I mean, there's just so many there's so many things that for somebody to come out and say that that uh, doing something legal does not give you reasonable suspicion is just patently absurd. Remember, 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 reasonable suspicion has to actually be proven if it's if it's brought up. If there's a motion to suppress, the, the prosecution has the duty to show that there was reasonable suspicion on the part of the officer at the time of the stop. But that's in court. Weeks, months later, what have you. So keep that in mind. The officer has a lot of time on his hands. Even he's got he's got hours writing the report to figure out what exactly he saw. He could circle the vehicle forever. Look like the windows were tinted too much. You know? It, it so so bear that in mind. And remember, case law, check your state. Don't listen to sovereign citizen retards on the internet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.